This text outline effect is trending on social media right now and it could not be easier to do in Final Cut Pro. Let me show you how to do it. So this is the clip that we're going to use for this tutorial today. And I'm going to start with my playhead at the beginning of the clip and I'll hit Control T to add a basic title. Then I'll just head to the end of the clip and I'll hit Option and the right square bracket to trim that title to match the duration of my clip. And let's just go with a title that says Extreme Sports, for example. We can choose a font. I don't know, something like that looks cool. Let's make it nice and big. Something like that will do. And I'll just let this snap to the center of the screen. And I'm going to change the color. So under the face parameters here, I can just adjust the color. Let's go with something yellow like that to kind of contrast with the blue in the sky. And then I'm going to hold down Option and create a copy of that title. I'll select the one below and hit V to disable it. And on this top layer, I'm going to then turn the face color off and turn the outline on. And I'm going to make the color the same. So we'll go with that same yellow and I'll just adjust the width. I think three will do. And then I can go ahead and re-enable this bottom text layer using the shortcut V. And I'm now going to hold down Option and copy my footage layer. And with my playhead at the beginning of the clip, I can hit Control Command M to add a magnetic mask. And then I'm just going to select the snowboarder over here. Let's add another point here and then hit Analyze to analyze the motion in that clip. Final Cut Pro does a really good job of rotoscoping. I did notice that there was one frame where the mask on the board kind of got lost right here in the trees. You can see the trees there look similar to the board. So what I can do is just click plus to add a point on that mask and you'll notice a keyframe is added on the magnetic mask right over here. And then I can just analyze forwards and that looks perfect. Then I'll hit done. And as you can see, we now have the snowboarder on top of the text. What I would like to do is just tidy this mask up a little bit. If I zoom in here, we can kind of see these edges. So I can just bring the feather down to tidy that up a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is with this top clip selected, hold down option and hit the down arrow to move it down one layer. Now you can see that the snowboarder is visible underneath the outline, but above the full color of this text. Now that I've completed this, I do think that this text outline is a little too thick. So I'll just come in here and drop this down. And before I show you how you can take this effect to the next level, let me show you what it looks like as is. By the way, more than 77% of you who watch this channel are not subscribed. If you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing because I'm on the road to 100,000 subscribers and we do fun Final Cut Pro things here. There are a couple ways you can make this effect a little bit more exciting. For one, you could take these two text layers and trim them a little later and then pair that with a sound effect like a boom or an impact. And the result is a nice impactful way to bring this title onto the screen. Another thing I like to do with my titles is to head over to the effects and add this glint effect, which is a free effect that I have. I'll leave a link to it down below. And this is quite intense. So I will just drop down the exposure a little bit and I'll bring down the glint size just a little bit. Then I can hit Command C and Command Shift V to paste that glint effect to the top layer as well. And the result is this cool glowing effect. And here's one more tip to add a little more energy to your titles. If you have my Pro Animate effects bundle, you can go ahead and look for the wiggle position restless effect and just drag that on top of both clips. And this works because they are exactly the same duration. I'll leave a link to the pack down below, but if you don't have it, you can just keyframe the position parameter every frame and then copy and paste those attributes from one title to the other. But the result is something that looks like this. If you're looking for more cool text effects for your videos, then you've got to try the text stutter effect next. Luckily for you, I have a tutorial all about it right here. Until next time, happy editing.